Hey everybody, Craig McCormick here from DestructivePixels.com and today I'm going to show you a quick tip for Lightroom, uh, specifically for Lightroom 5 users on how to create a custom splash page for when you're opening up Lightroom. Now for those that don't know what a splash page is, I'll just show you here. When you open up Lightroom, this image here that comes up that shows all the developers' names on it, that is the splash page. Previous, in all previous versions of Lightroom, you weren't able to actually customize that splash page. But in Lightroom 5, Adobe have given you the ability to do that. So you can add your own branding and all this other kind of cool stuff. So let me turn off and close Lightroom here for a sec, and I'll jump over to Photoshop. Now, the maximum image sizes you can do is 900 pixels by 600 pixels. Uh, it supports either JPEG or PNG, so you're absolutely fine either way. Uh, but one thing you definitely need to take note of is where to save them. Now in Mac OS X, it's in Users, and then your username, and then you go Library, Application Support, Adobe, Lightroom, and then Splash Screen. If you don't have a folder called Splash Screen within your Lightroom folder, that's okay, you can create the Splash Screen folder, it doesn't really matter. And with Windows, it's Users, and then your username, and go to App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Lightroom, and again, if you don't have a Splash Screen folder, you can just create it. So I have actually gone ahead and already created the image I'm going to be using. So it's here, uh, DR Splash. So it's literally just my brand, Destructive Pixels. And it's 900 by 600. So I've already gone ahead and in another tab, I've already got Splash Screen folder created because I actually needed to create my Splash Screen folder because I didn't have it. So all I'm going to do is take this JPEG that I already exported at 900 by 600 and drag it over. Now, let me just shut down my finder. And when I open up Lightroom, there you go, it's there. It's as simple as that. It's a really cool way to actually get your branding out there. And it actually creates a little bit more of an interest if you're ever opening up Lightroom. People go, oh, how did you do that? It's a really, really simple, quick, cool trip. Cool tip, sorry. And I only learned about it last week or so. So I had no idea this, is, this was even possible. So I thought it was a really cool tip and I thought I'd record this quick video just to show you guys. So I hope that was useful. Uh, again, if you want to find out more about me and my work, you can subscribe here on YouTube. Please do that. I put up videos pretty often. I also vlog any other, every photo shoot that I pretty much do now. I bring a little camera with me and I record the entire day, the whole process going along with it. So that's always really, really fun for me. And I do two tips and tutorials every other couple of weeks whenever I find something that's useful that I want to share with you guys. So if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. That'd be great. And also, if you want to learn more about me and my photography specifically, you can go to destructivepixels.com. So I hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you guys later.